Hello friends on YouTube, thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Now I want to tell you about my YouTube videos and I'm trying to get a new image also on YouTube because I want to show you some uh, extreme hairstyles but also um, extreme things because I love it because uh, I think special people with special hairstyles are making the world more beautiful, more wonderful and they are just like butterflies, you only see them once in a year or something like that and then you think oh it was a beautiful butterfly. In this video you can see a video of Dirk. Dirk was for two years uh, two years ago modeling for me but uh, he had some illness and then uh, Corona came on the way and um, now he's back to show you this. So when you stay watching and please subscribe if you like to and give comments on the, the way I appear to you because I think uh, I want to show you the wigs that I have but maybe you think of something else but in this video you what I told you you're gonna see Derek. Derek is a special guy he's come from uh, Germany he doesn't speak a lot but he's a friendly guy and he really loves a bit feminine hairstyles but also punky and he's uh, yeah someone you notice when you're going on the street you are on the street and you see him passing by. I'm certain that you would see me too if I pass you by like this, but this is only for the video, so I, I have a lot of wigs, so I love to show you them. Now, I hope you subscribe, hope you give, give some comments, but please watch my videos because they are special and they're specially made for you. Here's the Dirk, <laughs> and I want to einmal hinten im Nacken äh, ausrasieren lassen, ja. die Seiten äh, auch rasieren, die das Haupthaar zwar relativ bleiben lassen, aber trotzdem einmal so ein bisschen rund, wo es ein bisschen so angepasst wird, zu kürzen, eine Seite kurz, eine Seite lang. Okay. Uh, uh, Dirk wants a nape shave because he wants a bob on the back, sides uh, shaved. And he wants uh, in two colors because he wants a red and a black. Um, so he turns so you, you can see what his hair is at the moment. Ja, kann ich drehen. Du darfst drehen. Ja, einmal in schwarz und in rot. Ja. Yeah. Einmal geteilt genau in der Mitte. Ja. Yeah. Ja. Wie Creola de Fil. Also dann in rot und schwarz. Und dann ich ich kann mich nicht schnitzen. Ja, okay. Dreh dich mal, dass die sehen wie da in der Sinn. So. It's two years ago that Derek was modeling for me, and now he's back. Okay. Hello friends on YouTube, Derek is modeling again. Now it's a long time since he was here because uh, it's uh, two years ago. We have lived in two different countries. He lives in Germany and I live in the Netherlands. And with COVID, um, you have a lot of rules also in the Netherlands, but especially in Germany, because they are very proud to have rules. But now he could be here, so he's modeling again. Start, of course, with protection, like I always do. Then I'm gonna wet her. What he likes is uh, to have a little bit of ball cut, with a short uh, part, fringe, only a small part, but he wants to keep the length so he can lay it over to the other side. Then, in the middle, he wants red and black. Leave this side, start the wetting the hair. And before I do this, I put a little bit of conditional spray on the hairs. I'm going to show you the new clippers of uh, Kiona. But in here you can see what's going on and how his hair is at the moment. Start by laying the hairs in the way I like to part them. And when we make a half black, half red, you will see, certainly see that the red is laying on top of the black, of course. But still, you can do this half ways. Start by making the A first. So do the clipper parts first. Part the hairs, clip them away. This is the line of parts. Now he wants this totally off, so 
will be with the new clipper of Kionia. It's a real barber clipper. Comes in a nice box. And it feels like a tool that makes you working very gentle. But it's a real barber clipper. Especially my son is mostly hurried up by the clipper. Loves it a lot. Creating that A line of the ball. Put my blade to the back. And the nice thing of this clipper is that it goes totally short. It's almost like a razor blade. Comes with two different clippers. This is the large one. There's also a small one of it. Just this clipper. And this goes even nearer to the skin. And for those who are sensitive for blades, this is better than a razor blade. Because it never irritates the skin. And you can see how short it goes. The underlines I do afterwards. Clean this. Then I'm going to the part of the bulk. He asked me to do some long hair on top, so I part from the holy above the holy bone till the parting line in the center and hold this apart. So this he can lay with the hairs over to the other side. Part is in two parts because in the underlines it still be shaved. So I make myself a nice line till I get on the center line. Part this also away. Put in a straight line to the center of the skull on the back. Again, go to my big clipper. And because it's a ball cut, I can set a straight line. In the longer hair, I create the line of the A bob. Go to my small clipper again. And you can see how sharp this tool is. Also, on little children, it's very nice because you don't need a razor blade to. Or razor to do this. Creating my line. And what I told you in the upper hair, I created the A. So I also have the A bot on the back. This makes the hair more playable and more fun to wear. Free the part that will be the ball cut and this I have to work into that line because I have to get this line into an A bob on the back. Set out this line with the clipper. And then on the back I just make a nice soft connection. And only take off the dry edge, so I'll show you that. Lay the hairs to that. 
go in from above. So I still have that line of the A-bob. And in the underlines it is short. Lay the hairs to the back. Lay them in the rounding of his skull. And create that rounding. So I still have the A-Bob on the other side. Free the up hair. Knowing that I have this line, but now you see the connection also. You can see the fine, my, I find myself the line to the longer hair because he loves to have a little bit more hair on top. But that also can work a little bit more with, with the colors. Connect this line on the line of cutting. And also the dry hair is more off. You can see it becomes hairstyle also, even when it's wet and laying just on the skull, resting. Take a little bit hair of the other side with it. Only on the center I use his runnings of his skull. Go in from the center. Take the hairs up in the line of the skull. And so you see most of the length stays. Coming to the back. I need length on this side, so I leave it as long as possible. In the underlines, I have a side shave, so this will be coming back. Okay, go to the center. So see what I do. Twist the hairs around, holding it in the line. Watch at the length where I want to go, and in the underlines, what I need. Turn the hairs around with my comb, lay them in the line of cutting. You see I come on the length where I want to stay. Take the hairs over, here's my guideline. Take some new hair on it, lay it to the back because it has to be in a line. But you see now only the dry ends will be gone afterwards. Here's of course my guideline, it's laying here. And the last part. See I stay in the length that I have. Lay to the back and on the line of cutting. Minor corrections to the line, not much. Then I lay the hairs to the side because I have still also a side shave. Show you that in a second. Take the hairs up. Find myself a line. Get rid of this almost nothing here.
clean behind the ears. Take the ear down so you can get on up up line of the ears. Clean this. Now only have to do the front. To get the effect of the ball cut, I took a little parting line of a small fridge, not too much. And this I'm gonna connect just above the eyebrows and onto the line of cutting on the short side of the ball cut. This gives only an extra dimension to the head. And it's on the center of the skull, so we have a parting line for the red calls. On the other side, I take off only a small part of the fringe because it only takes off the dry ends. Watch at the fall of the hairs. Lay the hairs in the line of falling. Get in from above. Go to the ends. And slip slicing in the other line. So I hold as much length as I have, but get rid of the dry ends. And this is for so far the cut, so now I can make the coloring. So start with parting the heads to the sides to get myself a red part and a black part. And this makes coloring afterwards a lot easier. Back from making a color, part of the lines over to this side. There was to have this in the dark, in the black, and this in the red. So I created the red, and that the red is a devilish red because it's a product of rover hair. It's the most red color there is. It's a 666, so I don't need to bleach the hair. So the hair stay in a wonderful condition. I put in step one of the glint line, protection for skin and hairs. So afterwards, it's healthy hair. Work again till I get on the line of the ball cut line. I lift all the hairs on the foil as long as I can. Create a nice sharp line. Small part of carton wig. this on this line, take over the foil, you can take a cotton wick, lay it on the first line of red, so both colors stay on the part where they need to stay, go over to the red color. So I have this line, so I put a card work on this line also. Make sure I have all length. Close this up. Gonna wait for 25 minutes. Then rinse it out, I'm going to style it. So don't go away. We'll be back. Okay, back from coloring. Take off the glint line, a volume product. It's also protection for the skin. And smells really nice. It uh, smells like green tea. It has in the line of styling. Take myself a medium brush.
so far blood drive coming against in the center line to add some more volume coming against in the center line Ich glaube, die sehen dich, wenn du über die Straße gehst. Wer? Und die Leute. Ich glaube, da tun sie immer. Ja, natürlich. Du bist ja auch ganz groß. Du hast eine Länge mit die Schule an. Auch ja, obwohl die sind auch recht moderat. Ja. Using Hairspray, so you can see. This is my haircut for Dirk with uh, undercut, side shapes and of course new colors. Brauchst du deine? Ja. Okay. Mach mal sofort noch. I thank you for watching. I give him this uh, back. So now Derek is complete. I thank him for being my model. I thank you for watching. We see each other next time. And he will certainly turn around to show you the end result. Thank you. Uh, Derek wants a nape shave because he wants a bob on the back. Sides shaved. And he wants uh, in two colors because he wants a red and a black. Um, so he turns so you, you can see what his hair is at the moment. So it's two years ago that Derek was modeling for me. And now he's back. <laughs>